Welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Today we're talking about canopies and base anchors and when you would choose one over the other. Okay, so talking about canopy and base anchors, there's a few things to keep in mind. It's all about the forces. When you're climbing in a tree, you wanna be sure that your anchor is secure and you want to make be sure that the tree itself um, both is, your anchor's not gonna move in the tree, but also that it's not gonna cause the tree to fail. Obviously, when you're setting an anchor from the ground for single rope technique, you can't always see what it is you're gonna be tied to straight off. And so that's gonna be one of those limiting factors. You wanna have plenty of room, uh, sort of like the working load limit. You wanna have plenty of cushion so that if something weird were to happen, if the branch were to fail, if something were to go wrong, that you would still be in a nice secure tie-in point. Now, base anchors have the advantage of that they're quick to set up, they're fairly easy, the groundies can do them a lot of the times, if you set it up right, you can have a you can be lowered by your anchor. Uh, there, there's some and and it's really easy to retrieve. So you're almost never getting a piece of hardware stuck up in the tree when you're using a base anchor. And you don't often have to, oftentimes you don't have to isolate the branch uh, when you shoot it through. And for those of you who've done a lot of throw line work, isolating the branch can take as long as the tree uh, takes to prune. Sometimes it can be such a pain. So. Base anchors are quick, they're dirty, uh, they have some key advantages. They also have some key disadvantages, and this is where the canopy anchor comes into play. So the canopy anchor has the advantage of climbing, allowing the climber to climb on one isolated branch with just their weight on that branch. There's no multiplying of forces, there's no additional uh, movement and friction within the anchor itself. Whereas with a base anchor, sometimes as the tree bounces up and down, your rope slides back and forth along uh, on the bark and that can cause damage or it can cause the tree to flex. And what I wanna do today is give a little bit of a demonstration of how the forces are different, how they act differently on that tie-in point. I'm gonna do a little comparison here, head to head of a canopy anchored uh, in a tree and, and a basal anchor, sort of simulated. It's not straight up and down, uh, it's, it's going to be at a little bit of an angle in this pine tree, but the force is essentially the same. So for this first demonstration, we've got the canopy tie. It's choked off around this pine tree, and I'm going to pull on it as hard as I can and see how far the pine tree can flex. Now, if you'll notice, the pine tree flexes and it bounces back every time I pull on it, but there's no movement in the rope and there's no adding of forces. When it pulls, I pull as hard as I can, it flexes over some, and as, as soon as I stop, it goes back. I'm not continuing to flex it more and more. As we switch over to the base anchor, you'll notice that I can pull on it and I'm actually can keep capturing more and more slack and I keep bringing that tip of that tree more and more over to me. Now, if I were hanging from that, I, every time I bounce, that tree would flex harder and harder and not only is my rope, the force on my rope doubling my weight as it goes over that tree, the friction on the tree is allowing me to continue to multiply the force on that tie-in point to where eventually that tie-in point could break out. And that's the big risk with a basal anchor. If the rope is up and over a limb that is too narrow, or if it's not directly in line so my ropes are not uh, applying a compression force to the trunk, then what happens as I bounce and as I move around the canopy, I'm adding the force more and more to that, to wherever my tie-in point is located. And it's, it's very possible, and I've done it, to, to rip out or tear out large limbs much larger than what you would expect to be able to tear out with your weight. I climb in a lot of oak trees, a lot of black oak like this one behind me. And when I'm anchored uh, in a, on a single rope configuration with a canopy anchor, I'm totally comfortable uh, holding a, uh, tying off to a branch that size, no problem. Even, even down like this, if it's choked right next to the trunk. But I also know that a branch like this, if I have a little bit of that force multiplication from being basal anchored, I can tear that branch clean out, and I have. Um, usually I'll jump on it uh, with, with one of my groundies ahead of time and make sure that it bounces and comes back up and doesn't keep coming down. That's, that's usually the dead giveaway. If you jump on your rope, and it holds and it bends the tops and holds and you jump again and it comes farther it's too small of a top basal anchor is not a good idea you know switch it up to a canopy or get it in a, in a beefier union so that's the basics that's the, the generally those are the the that's what you need to avoid when you're looking at basal anchors don't want to tear out the tops um, and you don't want to have a bunch of movement 
if you've got a nice big union or the the union if, if the trunk is going this way and you've got the basal anchor at the bottom with your rope coming up through it and you're climbing out on this side to where all the forces are in compression you're not going to have any trouble it's not going to flex you're not going to tear that out even if it's fairly small because the force of the rope is in the direction of the middle of the vector and it's going to be compressing the trunk wood and as we all know wood is really strong in compression um, and so in that sort of situation you could be fine but if you're on a limb that's flexed over like this it's anchored down here rope is up here and you're hanging here well now you're not compressing the wood you're actually flexing it you're going to be bending it over more and more and that's where you tend to have more failures so in conclusion, if you can isolate the branch fairly easily, you can, you've got a good clean shot. Uh, as a default, I recommend do, using a canopy anchor, uh, especially if you've got one that's retrievable or you're gonna be able to move it ahead of yourself and redirect. Canopy anchors are a safer way to go under a lot of circumstances. If you're going quick and dirty, you don't have to go really high. You've got big unions and, or you can keep your, and you can keep your loads uh, on the wood in compression then basal anchors are great. They're fast, they're easy to set up, they're fairly secure, um, they're a good option. Just be aware of how the forces are acting on the tree and stay safe out there. Thank you for joining us here at Strider Tree Gear. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. What do you, what do you like to use? Is there a reason you prefer one over the other besides what I've talked about? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to have your feedback. Uh, be sure to hit that little notification bell too. We've got more videos coming out. We've got one about canopy anchors specifically and one about a variety of basal anchors. So stay tuned, there's more to come. Thanks again.